Okay, so feeling the feelings uh, and uh, so feeling the feelings is just the, the process and it, I would say it's the most advanced advanced tool the fastest way to let go of the ego one of the fastest ways to let go of the ego is, is to feel the feelings because remember the ego loves to think and not feel so that's, uh, that's the core of the ego the more I can think and not feel the better and the more the ego thinks and not feels, the stronger and more inflated the ego gets. So what's 180, the opposite of, of thinking non-stop and never feeling by, because you're constantly using? Well, 180, the opposite of not trying to distract onto, onto Netflix, onto chewing gum, onto donuts, onto uh, relationships. This is what I, I call it, feel the feelings. So it's to let go of thinking and just to feel. Yeah. So that's like a confront, a 180 degree confront. And if you're a real addict, that's, that will sound quite challenging. Because we're going to stop the thinking and then bring up all the feelings and feel everything out. And remember, every time you're... The thing of thinking, whenever you're, th when you're, ever you're identified with thoughts, you're, you are resisting surrendering. When, if you're, to the extent you're identified with your thoughts that pass along, if you're really in your thinking, then you are not surrendering. You are resisting the moment. So it's a resistance. And also, thinking is a way of suppressing your feelings. So when you're in a lot of thinking in the future, in the past, or whatever it is, or, or, or an obsession about an addiction, you're actually resisting feeling your feelings. It's a, like an anesthetic to feeling. So. How do we let go of the, the... So the first component is to realize we need to let go. Um, so if you're new, what you'll find is, as soon as I say, just allow yourself to feel, for example, feel what's in the body, or just be aware of what vibrations are in the body, is just be with those energies. And then as soon as you do that, you'll realize it, a, a thought will emerge in consciousness, like I need to do... I, I forgot to do my shopping. I forgot to do my shopping, I forgot to, put, uh, forgot to buy bananas. And then you realize you'll, be, you'll have thought for about two or three seconds. So, okay, thank you. Sorry, it's okay. Okay, thank you for saying that. So, you'll go on for two or three seconds, and then, but you want to catch it as quickly as possible, detach, disidentify, and just be back with the feeling. So, remember, if you started off, there might be tightness in the chest, or there might be some sensations, or it might be more more subtle than that, just loose energies or vibrations or, or non-localized vibrations or energies. Or it might be something loose like depression or, or anxiety or fear or grief. So just be with those. Often if there's a location, just be with those energies and then suddenly a thought comes up. It's like your attention goes into the thought and you're away from being just with whatever it is. Yeah? So as soon as you're into the thought, oh, I need to do this, Detach, as soon as you realize it, detach as quickly as possible and just be with the feeling, the energy, yeah? And then suddenly you're off onto another thought. Oh, but what about, no, again. So the more you do the practice, the quicker you can detach from getting into those thoughts. So you want to spend more time, so the more advanced you get, the more you're just with the energies and the less time you're in your thinking. So... You're trying not to be in hypnosis in your thoughts for too long before you catch it and just back to whatever. Now, with whatever energies or feelings are coming up or vibrations are coming up, the more you're with them, they'll start to dissipate and they'll start to evaporate and then disappear out. And then you might feel another more subtle energy somewhere else and then that will start to dissipate and then go out. So you're just clearing out all these energies. Take off any... Now, if you've got like something like we're saying detaching, but you still might have like a more subtle supervisor or something monitoring. Like, oh, I make sure you're doing the process right or something going on in the back. Switch that off as well. So you're just allowing things to intuitively let go. You don't need your mental chatter or the supervisor or something monitoring what's going on. Just trust. Just if you allow things to happen, but you're, let, you're not needing the head. Head not required. Okay? So let's do, let's do that for five minutes, five or ten minutes, and then we'll see how we, how we do with that. Can I ask a few?